Hello again, my name is Mrs. Barnaby, and today we are headed for an underwater adventure. Would you like to explore with me? Come, let's discover something new today. In our last lesson, we learned about the marine invertebrate sponges. In this lesson, we will learn about the invertebrate echinoderms. Before we begin our adventure, let's look at the objectives for the lesson. After watching this video, you will be able to identify five examples of echinoderms that live in the Bahamas. Describe five traits or characteristics of echinoderms. And compare and contrast the invertebrates, sponges, and echinoderms. Here are some of the vocabulary words that you may meet on this adventure. Radial symmetry. This means that you could divide an echinoderm's body into five identical pieces. Exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is an external skeleton that supports and protects the animal's body. Echinoderm. An echinoderm is a group of animals that can only live in the ocean. And invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone. Let's dive right in. What are echinoderms? Echinoderms are marine invertebrates that live in the ocean. If you examine an echinoderm, you will notice that they have spiny skin, they have a nervous system, they have external skeletons, and they use tiny gills to get oxygen from the seawater. Let's take a closer look. Echinoderms are covered with spines that stick out from their bodies or hard plates. It is with these spines that the animal is able to protect themselves from any predators. Like the sponge, an echinoderm does not have a brain, heart, or even eyes. Echinoderms are uniquely shaped animals. They have radial symmetry. This means five arms extending from the center of their bodies. The sea urchins and sand dollars are examples of echinoderms, but they do not have arms like the starfish. What do you notice at the bottom of this starfish? Echinoderms have paired rows of two feet extending symmetrically from the mouth. These two feet are used to help the animal move, feed, and for respiration. Echinoderms also have nerves that help them get food. The mouth of the echinoderm is located at the center of the underside of the body. Echinoderms also have powerful jaws and poison glands that are hidden among their spines. Like sponges, echinoderms can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Some echinoderms can also regenerate. This means they can regrow body parts that are lost. Like sponges, echinoderms are found in waters in the Bahamas. Come, let's explore some of these examples of echinoderms. Sea urchins, starfish, brittle star, sand dog. Sea feather and sea biscuit. Now that you've learned about echinoderms, let's compare them to sponges. Both echinoderms and sponges are marine invertebrates. They can regenerate. Echinoderms can move about the ocean. 
but sponges remained anchored in one place all their lives. Encinoderms have nerves that help them get food. Sponges are filter feeders. Encinoderms have radial symmetry, but sponges have needle-like parts that give them their shape. Encinoderms are covered with spiny skin. Sponges are covered with pores. Great work exploring today. I hope you learned a lot about Encinoderms. To learn more about Encinoderms, click on the link below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.